With November 6 quickly approaching, most domestic polls in the U.S. suggest that incumbent President Barack Obama and Republican challenger Mitt Romney are running neck and neck in the election that will decide who will lead the U.S. for the next four years. Foreign policy is traditionally not top priority for American voters. But if Palestinians could vote, who would they like to see in Washington? All American policies are the same regardless of who the president is. There hasn't been a U.S. president under whom we have seen a change with regard to our situation as Palestinians. Regarding improvement of our situation inside Palestine, there has been nothing, nothing with regard to pressuring Israel or anything else. The situation is the same whoever the U.S. president is. While American voters can look towards candidates' economic and social plans and evaluate candidates on issues like job creation, taxes, health care, and education, those outside the U.S., including Palestinians, tend to look more at what a president's foreign policy means or would mean for their lives. After his election in 2008, President Obama made a landmark speech in Cairo, Cairo in which he intimated that under his leadership, the U.S. would seek a new beginning with the Muslim world. Four years later, as he seeks re-election, Palestinians question whether Obama has made good on any of the rhetoric from his first term. And many wonder, in specific, if the president's policies lean towards favoring Israel, hindering U.S. ability to play the role of an impartial broker in the ongoing Israeli-Palestinian conflict. The United States became uh, uh, towards supporting uh, uh, absolutely the Israeli policy against the Palestinian people, which put the United States as uh, not as uh, the rule uh, we, we are uh, waiting for the U.S. according to the promises when Barack Obama had been elected uh, as a, a U.S. president. Although Palestinians are not overly enthusiastic about the results of Obama's first term with regard to the Palestinian issue, many acknowledge that he is still widely favorable to Romney. In July of this year, Romney visited Israel and made remarks during the visit which many Palestinians found offensive. His comments were seen to suggest that inherent cultural differences between Israelis and Palestinians accounted for Israel's greater economic prosperity. Recently released video of Romney from a private campaign fundraiser also negatively affected Palestinians' impressions. Romney claims in the video that Palestinians have no interest in establishing peace with Israel. When Mitt Romney visited Israel, his remarks were clear. He will fully support Israel. He will support Israel in holding that Jerusalem is its capital. He refuses the right of return for Palestinian refugees. In all of his interviews and media appearances, he has shown that he completely supports Israel, including in its settlement policies. He refuses the 1967 borderlines, and he refuses Israel returning to those borders. The Middle East of 2012 is very different from that of 2008. As new governments get on their feet in some Arab countries and revolutions carry on in others, whoever becomes the next U.S. president will have to deal with a new Arab world. Amidst the ongoing conflict in Syria, concerns about Iran's nuclear program, and ever-shifting Middle East regional alliances, some observers wonder if the situation of Palestinians and the two-state solution have been forgotten. Yet Palestinians seem to find that in the end, Palestine and its cause are still of principal concern in the Arab world. And they maintain hope that Palestine will command the attention of the region, and in turn, the international community. The most important issue in the Middle East is the Palestinian issue. All President Obama's energy has gone to outreach and connection with moderate Islamist parties. This effort came at the expense of finding a solution to the Palestinian issue. Solutions in the Middle East as a whole depend on solving the Palestinian question. The Palestinian issue is essential to the whole region. Following years of stalled progress on peace negotiations and with the two-state solution as distant as ever, the question remains for many Palestinians, will the next U.S. president, whoever he is, take any steps on the ground to reach a final settlement between Israel and the Palestinians? Winnie Mancini, JN1, Ramallah.